this is a popular scripture for the condemnation of women teachers. However, this scripture really speaks to a broader concept of forming a practice of inner peace that all should strive to obtain. The key word in this scripture is hazakia or pronounces hey sukios. This is typically translated in the English King James Version as submissive or quiet. However, this word means stillness, peace, in the sense of inner peace. This word can also be found in two other scriptures. Apostle Paul addressed all three of these epistles to the church in Thessalonica, which are located in Greece, where God and goddess worship was prevalent. In both 1 Thessalonians 4, 10 through 11 and 2 Thessalonians 3, 12, Apostle Paul is addressing the brethren. When addressing both male and females, the church as a totality, the word Hezekiah is still being used for quietness. Apostle Paul being the author of not just these books, but also the book of Galatians, where there is a key scripture found in Galatians 3.28, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. This could be seen as a contradiction, but let's continue. With this, we can say that this is a practice of inner stillness, inner peace that we all must obtain. Stillness is an attribute of the Holy Spirit, Shekinah. The feminine embodiment of God. The Holy Spirit is a teacher, as mentioned in Luke 12, 12. So why wouldn't women be allowed to teach over men? So let's refer back to this scripture. First, let's address that the author is referring to himself. He says, I suffer not. He does not refer to God, but he refers to himself. Apostle Paul comes from a well-educated, militant background. He sees the opportunity to form a religion that he can spearhead. I cannot recall a scripture that Jesus wanted to form a religion. In all actuality, he wanted to eradicate religion. Apostle Paul will have to be saved for another discussion. But there are several instances of female leaders in the Bible, starting with the Old Testament, where we have Deborah. Deborah is not only known to be a prophetess, a warrior, a songstress, but as well a teacher mentioned in the Midrash, a teacher that taught over men and women. In the New Testament, there are several examples. We have Apostle Junia, the popular duo Priscilla and Anquilla, and even Apostle Paul acknowledged the deaconess Phoebe, praising her for her works as a deaconess. And deacon comes from the Greek word diakonos, meaning messenger and minister. I would say with all of these facts that Apostle Paul was not referring to all women being completely submissive, but more so as a totality of a practice of inner peace that all should strive to achieve. I also believe that Apostle Paul did not have a direct disdain for women teachers, but his main objective was to form multiple churches as rapidly as possible so he had to use his military tactics to achieve his goal. You can learn more about women in the Bible on my blog www.fd11-11ministries.org. Pick up my latest book on Amazon, like, share, and subscribe.